Are my glasses doing a good job of hiding the fact that I have nothing else on my face? Hello again and welcome back to another gratis video. Um, let's instantly get started. The first thing that I'm going to share with you is going to be this Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. It's not Bum Bum, it's Boom Boom. Um, this has been all the rage recently. It's like Sephora Hot Now. Um, everybody is going crazy over it and loves it. It smells quite nice. Um, it's supposed to be really good with like firming the butt. I said it, the butt. Um, yeah. I also got the Stila, what is it called? Stay All Day Contouring Bronzer for face and body in the shade medium. Look at this. It has a huge mirror right there. Don't want to flash you. And then here's the product. Yellow Malicious. When the Stila was swatching this on my hand, it's not go on like you couldn't see it I was like I'm really tan I'm sorry but when I do have it on my face because my I did hide my face from the sun a bit more than my body and um, I can actually see it and it's a really nice kind of like contoury bronze shade it doesn't have any shimmer let me double check no shimmer really good for like contouring but still like gives you a bronze effect so I'm crazy over this right now next I have a personal favorite of mine and it's the Bobbi Brown corrector Concealer in light peach. The Bobbi Brown rep let us pick which color we wanted, and I chose peach because I already have the light bisque, um, and I wanted something a little bit with more orange to help with my under eyes and see if I prefer one color over the other. I kind of think I'm gonna like this one. I haven't used it yet, but this is a really great formula. If you haven't tried it, go try it out because it's amazing what it does for the dark circles if you were wondering what was on my lips the only thing that i have on my face actually it's gonna be the urban decay vice lipstick in conspiracy it is a meta metal metalized metalized i don't know i was like metallicized not i'm sometimes not dumb i don't know yes so yeah this lipstick they have a bunch of colors they are 17 dollars each and then this sticks the sticks the lip pencils are twenty dollars um i've been loving this i've been trying like a few other like colors and like the formulas i really like them even the matte ones are not too crazy matte um this one is more kind of the cream one even though it has like the shimmery sparkly stuff i like it but i don't think i'm gonna be like oh my gosh this is my go-to color so yeah a very nice formula a lot of people have been loving them, especially if you're trying to find dupes. Like people are like, oh I want this shade that has like run out and I can't find it anymore. Go look in Urban Decay. I promise you, you will find something there. Next I have this Eve Loom, Eve Loom cleanser. Um, it looks like it's supposed to exfoliate, but it's actually like a balmy thingy. Open up. <sighs> yeah, it smells very like... Um, Kate Somerville Eradicate, if you've tried that before, that very similar smell. It's actually really balmy. I haven't personally tried it on my face, but I am excited to use it because what you do, it comes with this little muslin cloth, and you put this on your face all over. Even with makeup, it takes it off, apparently. I don't trust it. I'll probably just wash it without makeup. Anyway, so you put this, and then you, like, put it over your face with, like, hot water, and then it, like, kind of, like, opens the pores, and you do it, like, three times with hot water and then you do it finally like two or one time with um, cold water and it's to close the pores back up. So I'm excited to see how this works. Um, a lot of people have been liking it, I'm assuming. It sounds great, nothing too crazy. So yeah, skincare. Next I have this Mirad Spin Around Professional Eye Lift Firming Treatment. And they come with the little eye patches so you can put them on your eyeballs. Um, I've tried this once. Um, of course I was in a rush and it was before school and I didn't really have that much time to really like actually do it and be like, ah, spa day. So it didn't really work out that great and I was like, let the be. But I have seen people at work use them on clients like people with like huge puffy eyeballs. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this in another gratis video, who knows. Um, so yeah, I want to try this when I actually have time to like relax and actually do it until then, still to be determined, but I've seen people use it and it like looks great, so I'm like, what's wrong with my eyeballs? Are they not puffy enough? Mm. I also got the Sephora Micellar Water, Triple Action Cleansing Water, it doesn't actually say, oh, there's Micellar. 
So cool thing about this that I learned is it actually kind of attracts like the dirt. It's like a magnet to like pick it up off of your skin. So you can just use it with like a cotton round and do that and like I've heard really great things about like micellar waters in general. Like a, Sabrina's friend, um, she said that even after washing her face with the Clarisonic, she went over with micellar water and there was still dirt to be picked up. So this stuff, I, there's some brands that aren't the best, but I have heard like Sephora is a good one and I do use it at work like to clean people's faces. Another thing that I've got in a previous gratis is this Neurod Hydro Dynamic Quenching Essence. Um, I've started to use it now that I've come back from vacation and like this area of my face is like burnt off and to like rehydrate it. I will say it's nice I do use it alone and I don't really like use any other stuff with it because it's too hydrating to like wear with other stuff. So if you have really dry skin then this is great but if you have oily skin like me usually then maybe stay away from it. Cause I think I did like start breaking out like on like other areas where it was like not burned like the chin. So, yes, be careful. It's too hydrating, but it feels so nice and like silky and like, yes, get to my skin. So yeah, another skincare item that I got was this Clinique stuff. It is a Pepstar 2-in-1 exfoliating cleanser. Um, it has three types of um, exfoliators, chemical, physical, and, and, and enzymatic. It's like the Pac-Man one that like takes away like the dead sin skin cells and whatnot. And they use it like Pac-Man. I don't know. I forget it. I, it's always the last one. I forget. Anyway, so it has that in it. I've been using it recently. And I will say it feels so nice on my skin. My skin feels like so soft. And like this area where it was like burned once it gets like... It's like healing, but it's just like still disgusting. Um, so it's nice. Like this is actually smooth. And like it has been helping me with like my skincare or my like spots and stuff so I do like this um it's not supposed to be for if you have active acne but the rep says that you can use it every day once a day if you have normal to dry skin and twice a day if you have oily skin um I will say that I have been using um apple cider vinegar on my skin to kind of take away the sunspots on my skin and it is kind of that dries it out because I've been using it also on like acne scars so like right here I like got a rash or something or like a dry patch and I was like eh you are too good for your own use so I may kind of like dial it back to only one day now so yes I also got two other Clinique products and one of them was this pep start quick cleansing swipe so it's just makeup remover it's supposed to kind of have like the stuff, the ingredients, some of the ingredients in that little two-in-one exfoliator, but in a wipey thingy. So if you don't want to wash your face, then you can just do that. And she said this kind of the pep start is kind of more for the millennial era where you're just like on the go and you're like, I don't want to have too many steps in my routine for my skin because I'm so lazy. It's like the lazy girl is what she calls it. The lazy girl routine. The last Clinique product is going to be the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Ooh. Um, I did use it today right now and I will say I'm not 100% sure how I like this. And I did use it also before in like another day and I was still like this is weird. Like the texture is strange. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It looks like that. It's like a light pink. I don't know. It's like silicone-y feely because it's like supposed to kind of be your primer and moisturizer in one. And I think that's what's like really making it weird. I'm like, this does not... I don't know. I'm indifferent right now because I want to feel like it's going into my skin. But instead I feel like it's just like sitting on it like a primer. So it's really confusing and I have mixed emotions, but I'll get back to you on that. Another skincare set that I got was the Ula Hendrickson. It's like the three little wonders or whatever. Um, and it is the True Serum Collagen Booster, the Sheer Transformation Moisturizer, and the Invigorating Night Treatment. It's an overnight exfoliate. Nope. <laughs> Resurfacer. Um, I have tried this before. I haven't like tried it like religiously like this is my nighttime cream but I have a full size so I'm gonna try that out and see how that works for me um, my mom uses it she says she kind of sees a difference but 
for the most part she's like it's just a moisturizer so but a lot of people like this so to be determined this um, collagen booster um, with vitamin C I think I'm allergic to vitamin C but I mean I'll try it again to kind of like get rid of like some spots maybe even like right here where I have those sunspots from the beeping sunburn so we'll see how that works hopefully it doesn't irritate my skin because I think I am like vitamin C sensitive Ugh. it's blurry on this side <laughs> um, and then the last one is invigorating night treatment I'm excited to see how exactly this works um, and see how it how it works how it works um, yeah I feel you can sometimes go wrong with Ula but then other times it's like great stuff coming out from him so yeah to be determined if you have any suggestions or questions about this let me know oh my gosh all of the skincare this time around I got the Tatcha Balance pore perfecting water gel moisturizer what a mouthful that is um, yeah this is just supposed to be a good moisturizer for those who have oily skin so I'm excited to use this because I am an oil machine especially during the summer and living in Austin where it's humid balooza so yeah excited to do that because also it has like a nice glow to it and I swatched it on the back of my hand one day and I was like oh my gosh I want to put it all over my face so excited for that haven't actually put it on my face so to be determined if you try this let me know I promise this is gonna be the last skincare thing that I have and it's gonna be the Bosha charcoal pore pudding mask intensive wash off treatment look how cool that is like it's just so like ugh. so it has white and black charcoal or dark charcoal chocolate no not chocolate I wish so yeah even like when you open it it's like all like mixed and swirled up like that so that's exciting even that yang and yang anyone so I'm excited to try this a lot of people have been liking it um, I just want to see what it means like with the pudding I guess it's just like it's like moussey so we'll see I'm excited you can never have too many like masks it can be used all over or like as a spot treatment and I'm like I'm all about that spot treatment so yes to this Woo! now on to some more makeup -y stuff um, I got this Smashbox photo finish primer I actually love this primer and I've only had like little samples I've never had the full size, so this is actually so exciting. I'm like, yes! This is really good if you have oily skin. It has a very silicone-y feel, and I wore this once to a wedding, and it was all outdoors, and it was so hot. And, like, my skin, not my skin, my makeup stayed in place the whole night. I was afraid it was going to be melted off, like, um, Sabrina's was kind of melting off a teeny bit. Um, and then I went into the bathroom and I was like, oh my gosh, my skin, my makeup is still there. I was like, like so shocked. So I have this to thank. So bless you, child. Bless you. So yeah. I also have this Too Faced Mascara Melt Off Cleansing Oil Waterproof Mascara Dissolver. Um, so I've heard a lot of great things about this. Um, it was sold out for a while at my Sephora and then just in general everyone has been like really talking about it and like kind of like demoing it so they like put it on like their arm hairs I know so cool and they put like the waterproof mascara on and they just like swipe it on and they're like this is amazing it's kind of like this type of ridgy wand so you kind of just like get all up in there you know and just take it off and I've heard some really great things and everyone's like this actually is like good so I'm excited to try this on waterproof mascara now on to my favorite part of makeup and that is mascara and I have the make the new makeup forever excessive lash and this is a super cool brush um, he's the rep said the front of it's kind of more of like a boar bristle hairbrush to really kind of get the lashes and really like spread them out and give them that volume um, and he like the catchphrase is like small wand big lashes and like size doesn't matter or something like that but overall I am excited to try this out because it sounds great and they are coming out with a bunch of new lipstick colors <laughs> the last mascara that I have is the Tarte Tartist mascara this looks exactly like the Benefit Their Real mascara 
So I'm excited to see kind of how those two compare against each other. Um, I'm, I'm gonna assume it's gonna work just as well, but excited because it's more of a natural brand. Yes. And last but not least, my favorite thing that I got this whole gratis thing and maybe like possibly like my whole my all time like holy grail thing that I've gotten in all my past um, Sephora gratises is this Chanel Coco Mademoiselle fragrance. It is an Etoilette a version. I don't know how to say Etoilette. Etoilette. Tailster. So yeah, I got this because I had like. 30 services and everyone else had five and my manager was like look at this because we tally them she was like you i definitely need to get you like some gratis tickets or like something so excited i literally couldn't wait to call my mom and be like guess what i am so yeah the reason why i love this um fragrance so much is because it does my mom wears this all the time it's her favorite um fragrance and i think this is the only one that she's ever owned like full size she only just has like samples so I guess that's why it's so special. It smells like church and like her because she would always like spray it on special occasions or whenever we would go to church she would always spray it on herself. So now every time I smell it I'm like, hello mother, what are you doing? So yes, I like it so much. It smells a little different because it is not the parfum and it's the toilet, but it's supposed to be the lighter version. So yeah, this is like a hundred dollars and it's the 3.4 ounce and I'm just like, bless you child. However, I did tell my mom if she does run out of hers before mine, I would give it to her because she deserves the fragrance more than me. I'll put like a little, get one of those like autumnizers for myself and just have that be like, just fill me up. So yeah, I forgot one product. It was the Sephora Pro Featherlight brush. It's number 62. And oh my gosh, these things are so amazing and super like, bing, 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 bing. super great because I have never had a, like this highlight brush. So I'm just like, yes. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. So I hope you have liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below if you've tried any of the products that I mentioned or some products that you were like, you might like this. Then let me know. I'm always interested in sampling some new things at Sephora. Um, be sure to subscribe if you did like it and you want to see more gratis videos and other videos that I post. So yes, I will see you guys next time around. Bye. I love it so much. Goblet. <laughs> okay. Goodbye.